Welcome to Cardamone Law University, translating the Pennsylvania Workers' Compensation Act into plain English for injured workers. It's Mike Cardamone here. Today I wanted to go over the Notice of Temporary Compensation Payable. It's a document that confuses a lot of injured workers in Pennsylvania. After reporting a work injury, the insurance carrier for your employer will have 21 days to investigate and issue either a notice of compensation payable, which accepts your injury, or a notice of denial, which denies a work injury, or a notice of temporary compensation payable. That is issued when the uh, insurance carrier or employer is uncertain about whether they want to admit liability. So they issue this document called a notice of temporary compensation payable, and it basically says we're either going to pay for medical treatment for whatever injury they accept for a period of uh, 90 days or medical and wage loss benefits. And if it's a medical only situation where they're not admitting uh, workers comp wage loss liability, um, essentially we call that a medical only notice of temporary compensation payable. The 90 days for medical treatment begins the run from the date of injury. If they issue the notice of temporary compensation payable and admit wage loss benefits, at least temporarily, then basically um, that period begins the, the first day the employer is entitled, I'm sorry, the first day the employee is entitled to receive disability benefits um, is basically um, is when the, the insurance carrier, that's when the 90 days starts. So from the first date that they were disabled, essentially. Uh, the document is confusing because injured workers don't understand what's going to happen after the 90 days. So if nothing happens, in other words, if no bureau documents are filed, it automatically converts to what's called a regular notice of compensation payable. And that's a good thing. It means they can't stop your benefits uh, without a court order or a couple other exceptions. However, in a lot of cases, the insurance carrier will file a notice of denial within the 90 days. And what that means is they don't have any further liability. The burden then shifts to the injured worker to file what's called a claim petition to allege a work-related injury and disability, and that gets it in front of a worker's comp judge. So if you have a notice of temporary compensation payable, in your case, you don't want to get a false sense of uh, of hope and I hate to say that but it's true because in a lot of cases that document will be revoked by the subsequent notice of denial so call us if you get a notice of temporary comp uh, at 215-206-9068 and we'll monitor your case and also make sure that they're revoking it properly if in fact that's what they do and if it converts after 90 days where they don't file anything that's great news, and we can continue to handle your case, and there's no fee or anything. We always stress this to injured workers. We only get paid if we settle your case or if we win a petition in front of a judge and the court orders a fee. So if you're already getting benefits, you don't pay us anything, and we monitor your case and position it properly for settlement. And people that have attorneys will generally double or triple their money. So, um, you know, if you get that notice of temporary comp payable, Call us. You can even email us if you want. It's Michael, M I C H A E L, at cardamonelaw.com. So Michael at C A R D A M O N E L A W.com. We'll give you a free re review of your case and also monitor to make sure that it's being positioned properly for a potential settlement. So the notice of temporary comp payable is really confusing for people. The law has recently changed uh, before in certain situations. The insurance carrier would have to issue what's called a notice stopping temporary compensation payable and a notice of denial within a certain period of time from the receipt of the last payment. And then now in certain circumstances, that's not required. And they just have to file a notice of denial, which then pulls the carpet out from under you. So... Call us anytime, again, 215-206-9068. This is a tricky part 
of the Pennsylvania Workers' Comp Act and the regulations, and we'll be happy to tell you how it applies to your case, depending on which document they filed with the, um, the Bureau of Workers' Comp and the Department of Labor and Industry. Uh, that's it for now. If you have any questions, call or email us, and we'll talk to you again soon from Cardamone Law University.